The Moto Z2 Play is a successor to what was perhaps the most successful device in the revamped Z series. The Z2 Play continues the tradition of striking a good balance between design and performance while bringing the whole Moto Mod ecosystem to yet another handset. This is Dhruv Bhutani from Phone Arena. Let's take a closer look at the all new Moto Z2 Play. Starting off from the front of the device, you'll observe a 5.5 inch Full HD AMOLED panel that has a Gorilla Glass 3 coating on top for protection. The panel looks quite good and like any AMOLED screen, it displays deep blacks and brilliant contrast levels. We do wish that it was a bit brighter though. Up above is a 5 megapixel front facing camera that now has a dual tone LED flash next to it which would enable better selfies in low light. The phone uses on screen controls and now has a larger sized fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor doubles up as a gesture area and using the Moto Actions app it can be enabled to replace the on screen controls. It does take some getting used to but it works quite well once you've figured it out. Along the bottom edge of the phone lies the USB 3.1 supporting type C port as well as the headphone jack while the top has the dual SIM card slots and the dedicated micro SD card slot too. Over on the right side lies the segregated volume rocker as well as the power button. The entire construction of the phone is metal and feels very premium. In fact, it is very clearly a step up from the previous generation. The antenna band finds a unique arrangement along the back of the phone. The entire effect is very visually appealing. For that matter, even the 16 pin connector at the bottom has got some aesthetic improvements. The camera bump, however, remains very pronounced. At the back is a 12 megapixel camera with laser and dual pixel autofocus. We took some preliminary shots with it and found the camera to be fairly mediocre. In good lighting, it is possible to get decent shots, but this is true of most smartphones these days. Low light shots were quite a struggle for the hardware. The 3000 mAh battery is unremovable, of course. The phone does support turbocharging. Internally, the Moto Z2 Play is powered by a Snapdragon 626 processor paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage that can be expanded further. The software on board is Android 7.1 and in typical Moto fashion, it is almost completely devoid of any bloat. Other than the Moto Actions app that enables some admittedly useful gestures, there's little else. Moto Display is a very useful addition that brings up an ambient display showing essential information when you bring your hand close to the phone. In practice, this worked very well. Performance of the phone is generally very satisfactory and while it is not blazing fast, you definitely won't be left wanting for speed either. The one thing that really sets the Moto Z2 Play apart is its support for Moto Mods and how it can give a handset completely new abilities. We've got the new JBL Sound Boost 2 here with us, snapping it onto the phone via the magnets lets you make it a veritable party machine. Priced at Rs 27,999, the Moto Z2 Play is perhaps not quite the deal that the Play series is expected to be. Indeed, unless you're interested or vested into the mods platform, it might not be the ideal choice for you. That said, the Z2 Play certainly is a very well-built phone and it is a balanced device that offers something completely unique in its category.